Josh, this is uh, Prowler from the 500 First Airsoft uh, team here. I'm gonna do a quick review on, or like not really review, like out of the box on my uh, KJW KCO2. Now, disclaimer, this isn't a stock KJW KCO2. I have done some external work and some internal work, so take that into effect. If you do like some of my grips, optics, sights, uh, flash hiders, or my PTS MOE stock here. All right, uh, first things first. This gun comes with, out of the box, a normal M4 LE stock, three rail covers to cover the three rails on uh, left side, bottom, and right side. Now, uh, one of the first things I did to this gun was uh, upgrade it internally. I heard from a couple people that it performs really well with a, uh, a new barrel and a new bucking, so that's the first thing I did. Got a new barrel, new bucking, and uh, I really do not like the, the way normal M4 LE stocks feel, so I replaced it with a PTS MOE stock. In black now one thing I do not like about the stock is the extreme difficulty uh, to install it you need to take uh, two flathead screwdrivers and pry a little piece here down to uh, and then push it on kind of with your body because it may put you in an awkward position to get it on but once it's on it is extremely comfortable very easy to retract you don't need any lubricant or anything it just comes nice with that uh, this is a um, an AEG style, even though this is a GBBR. I don't know why, ask KJW. Also, this is, I believe, uh, an AEG grip as well, but it does not, it is hollowed out uh, for lack of a grip. It just goes straight to uh, a screw inside here to take it apart. I also have a, uh, an EOTech uh, 553, I believe, uh, which I got from toysoldier.com. Uh, just a quick little upgrade for an optic. Uh, I mainly have it for looks, to be honest, but it does help very much with aiming. But uh, on bright days, sometimes the reticle can be difficult to see. I have a set of Magpul P uh, M bus sights on here. Uh, I kind of, at last year's Black Shield uh, event at SC Village, I broke the front prong of this sight off. But uh, the way the, the sight works is it kind of creates a little pocket, and I like to put my uh, opponents in the pocket uh, of this little sight here, and that's when I pull the trigger and uh, fire. Now, uh, one of the things I noticed when I first fired the gun, now when I first fired the gun, I did have upgrades. So, uh, I do believe that that would make a significant dis uh, difference, but not in terms of maybe the feel of the recoil, but I do believe the accuracy and the crispness of the weapon being fired is changed by the new bucking and the new barrel. So one of the, the, the things I, I really enjoyed about uh, first shooting it was when I shot it, I do have a KW MP7 here, so I have experienced the gas gun before. This felt a little rattly when I shot it. It wasn't very clean, but this gun's blowback was extremely clear, crisp, extremely clean. Now, it is not a lot of blowback like you would say maybe on a uh, one of those electric bolt M4s that has just a ridiculous amount of recoil, or maybe a, um, a WEM4 or even a... Uh, uh, KWA LM4 uh, those kind of guns have a lot more recoil than this it is meant to um, replicate a Ruger 1022 it does a fine job I say but it, it, it doesn't have much recoil so if you are looking for a heavy recoil this might not be the gun for you but if you uh, kind of enjoy uh, range in your airsoft guns if you do like to uh, have a little more range and be able to reach out and touch someone this is the gun for you but for you people who like to sneak around and hit the flanks like I do with my uh, KW MP7, uh, this gun is amazing because it is such a small frame and it's such a small body, it's so narrow, you can maneuver very well with it. And I find that the range and the body mixture is almost unmatched by any other gun in the market. It does what it does very well. It, it doesn't do other things very well. It's not an assault rifle, it's not an AEG, it doesn't have a high capacity mag. The mag is right here, it's a 30 round mag. This is the uh, the Type B magazine, if you purchase it. The Type B does not have a threaded barrel. I did purchase that separately. And it comes with the large type magazine. Now, uh, it does, back to what I was saying, it, it does what I want it to do better than any other gun I've ever owned. I've owned a KWA SR7. I uh, experiment being a squad gunner for a little bit. I do own a uh, M249 saw by AMK, which I do say is a very temperamental gun. And I've owned, um, this pistol right here, this KJW 1911. I'm not very much a pistol guy, so I don't uh, you typically use it. And uh, the MP7, I, I thoroughly enjoy. But this gun, this gun here is really a showstopper. I, I really find that it's uh, great at what it has to offer. Now on to what this gun has to offer. The thing I like most about this gun is 
its ability to act like a sniper rifle and an assault rifle or a submachine gun in one. It does have a lot of range and it can reach out and touch somebody, it really can, especially with uh, the precision inner barrel and the upgraded bucking I do have in here. This is a 6.01 barrel. Uh, but I do like that it's not as heavy, bulky, and immobile as a sniper rifle or other DMRs. So I feel that I can really get around the flanks and move with this weapon, which is a great advantage. Now, being able to move around the flanks and hit enemies at a distance keeps me at a safe distance from them, puts me in a, an easy position to hide, maybe uh, start an ambush, but I, can, but I don't have to get so close, but I can get to those positions, unlike maybe a sniper who would find a spot for a game, kind of camp out there until the front lines moved a little bit. I can, with this, keep up with the front lines very well. One of the second things, uh, I really think that this is a good gun to transition from an AEG to a gas rifle. Now that's because the grip and the stock here are both AEG compatible. So one of the two things, there are three things that I think are most important about operating a weapon. Your grip, where you hold your gun, your rear grip, where you obviously grip and fire the weapon, and then your stock, where you use to also stabilize the, the rear part of the gun. And the fact that you could take your AEG, say M4 stock or other stock that is compatible like this, which is an, is an M4 tile uh, buffer tube, place it on here. You can also take your grip, place it right here. Boom, there are two of the three components right there that are compatible over to a gas gun, which you would not be able to get with other guns. Then obviously you have your standard Picatinny rails that you could place um, your other uh, grips and uh, lasers, flashlights, optics, other things like that. Last and certainly not least, this weapon's easy to operate, is extremely easy to operate, and it offers a lot of uh, perks on the field. You're allowed to get more uh, rounds down range quicker, and you're allowed uh, easier magazine transitions. Straight down, straight up, no AK magazine banana curl. Easy stroke of the magazine. Let me put my eye protection on. And the last thing that sold me most on this gun is the crispness and easiness of the blowback and the bolt on uh, when firing. Now watch the bolt closely. This has been Prowler from the 500 First Airsoft, signing off.